Ever since I was young, my parents have taken me to Mass every single Sunday, and I went to religious education classes all the way through grade school, middle school, high school, um, but at the same time, I have to admit that going all the way through that, I did not understand that the Eucharist truly was the real presence of Christ. I didn't understand that until after I had graduated from high school. It was in that summer after I graduated from high school and somebody told that to me and I said, really? And they said, well, yeah, how did you not know that? What, what did you think when the priest says, you know, the body of Christ? And I told them, honestly, I didn't think anything. And I think it's such a shame that so many of us have that happen where we go through not realizing what it is. The Eucharist is like um, my source of life. Um, if I think of myself without eating the Eucharist, I think I would die. I think I, I would just picture myself dying. Uh, I think it's, yeah, that's the place. I mean, it's how I received life or energy. Receiving the Eucharist for the first time was one of the most precious things in my life. I got to really, really feel what it was like to have Jesus in my soul and really feel like I was one with Him. Being able to celebrate Mass, I would say, is one of the greatest joys and one of the most profound things I've ever done. Um, leading up to the first time I was ever going to celebrate Mass, I was just waiting to see what it would be like. Am I going to experience something? Is it going to feel like this overabundance of emotion? And I said the words of consecration and I lifted up the host and I didn't feel anything because, of course, our emotions can't, can't fathom that. But then right after that, we lower the host, put it on the patent, and the priest comes down and genuflects. And I, genu I put my hands on the altar and I genuflected, and I didn't want to get back up. There was just such a profound sense. That was the most powerful moment, was when I was genuflecting. There I realized, this is God right in front of me, and I'm kneeling before him. I don't ever want to get up. Of course, I had to and continue forward with the Mass, but there's just such a profound beauty to knowing this is the Lord, and here I am being able to worship him when he's right here in my hands and right in front of me. When I see friends that can receive the Eucharist and they don't, I get a little uh, sad and upset because I, it's like if you, we're all hungry for, for the Eucharist. So it's like if you know there's a person who's hungry and there's food that has been offered and you don't want it, so don't take it, you know, take advantage of receive the Eucharist because you receive, you know, blessings and peace. And, and uh, I once read a quote about like, you know, the Eucharist being like heaven a piece of heaven, so I think it's true. The Eucharist to me is a recommitment to Christ every single Sunday. It's a recommitment to telling Him I love you and that you changed my life and I thank you for that. And it means everything to me that you allow me to be at your feet every Sunday.